Hello and welcome to a new series of video where I want to make some something work. Yeah? Because I bought something. I bought something for me. This thing here. This thing I bought. Yeah? I will open it. It's a CNC shield. It's a C C a so-called CNC shield. It's a shield for an Arduino. You can plug it to your Arduino. Yeah? And well here. There is an Arduino. It perfectly fits there, hopefully. No, it does not look too bad. And it's promised that you can control a various number of stepper motor with this thing. Huh? Here, things are missing. Within the set was the stepper motor driver. You have to put them in. I am not sure now that way or that way. Yeah. And then you download or you use a, a library and can control the stepper motor. However, I did want to, to understand this a little bit better. All right. So I want to understand this a little bit better. So I will simply, oh, it's pretty sticky here. Uh -huh. Okay. I will not use this shield now. I just want to use this motor controller. It's a step motor controller. Yeah. Well, there are some pins. Sleep, reset, step, direction, enable. Uh, they, they are labeled down here. Uh, and I want to control the stepper motor. There are also this little cooling. This this cool. For the motor, to, to, for the for the for the device to, to have this cool, so I will do this now. I will patch this here. Yeah? I will stick this there, and of course, since I touched it now, I will use here. This is isopropanol. Yeah? I like at the doctor if before you get clean this also. <laughs> I look shiny again. Yeah? Maybe probably I should have done this before. So now there should not be any any grease, fat or oil on there. Yeah? Alright. All right. <laughs> it doesn't look too bad. In here, some dirt. Oh, there are some. Look at that. There are some some metal chips inside. Right. Sticks. I think it should do the trick. It should help cool our our motor driver. Now I only have to. Find a motor. <laughs> I find I have to find a motor. I also bought something ah, here yeah, because I wanted to use a real motor. Yeah. Here, this I bought. And see, okay, there is some German. It's even written in German. Look at that. Cool. Oh, cool. And here, Five stepper motors. I will use simply one of them. Which one? The middle one, of course. Always go to the center. And I have these plugs here, so I will use one, of course. And I want to get this moving. I want to get this moving. So I'm looking at the back side. You see? Here are the labels. This is how I connect it. Yeah. And here is now the cooling, the cooling patch. All right. So here I'm going to connect now the, the stepper motor. Let's go in here. Back. And here I have to connect this to those pins here, 
one A, one B, yeah, here, the middle. I'm not sure if this is now the correct way or the other way. Let's see. Let's see. Up here, we have to connect the power supply, the power supply of, of the, the motor itself. All right. I will use two, these two cables. So we have plus. motor and ground and it's also written that this driver this driver is fairly sensitive to to peaks to peaks voltage peaks yeah so i'm going to use here this breadboard okay i'm going to use here my lab voltage source yeah? here we go Plug it in, back, plus and minus, and I'm going to use a, a capacitor. You should use 100, 100 uh, microfarad or more, or at least 48 microfarad. Yes, I have it. When using, this is 100 microfarad, okay, 100 microfarad. Here, 100 micros. Uh, what is important? Uh, 50 volts, okay, we have 50 volts. Uh, here there's a minus, minus written. This is an electrolytic capacitor. If you plug it the other way around, this will simply burst and does not, the, the smell is not nice. <laughs> not nice. So you should, should plug it in the same way, so this is minus. It's like in a diet, you see, I already bent it, the short one, yeah? but it's also labeled, it's also labeled here, minus. So it should go in that way. Fourteen volts, I just this fourteen volts. It's not getting hot. Looking good. Okay, and this one I am now plugging power supply it's also not getting hot good seems good seems good Then we do have some, some logic power supply. Okay, so this is now the power cycle, and now we need the control cycle. Okay. Here, these two, they are labeled with reset and sleep. I will connect those two. Reset and sleep. Sleep will simply interconnect them, then they are short circuit. Then I will use here. There's plus and minus. I will use here black and red. This plus and minus, this is the control, the control side. They are somewhere here, below here, BC. All right. So this is now control plus and control minus. I will plug them in here, plus and minus, and get those things from here, 5 volts, plus, control 5 volts, and control ground, Plug them in here. All right. Now we should be able to control this, but only we have only power supply. Yeah. Then we need this direction, and and I always I do this according to this plan here. Yeah? Then I need this direction and enable. 
directs and sleep uh, step. So direction is now white and step is brown. Direction is white and step is brown. I will use here eight and nine maybe. Oh, simply use afterwards the, the library, plug it in. Yeah? And then we have a bunch of enable MS2, MS1 and MS3. Yeah. What are those? Those are for micro-stepping. Okay? If we want, if we do not want to control the micro-stepping, yeah, then we can leave them open. However, I think, I don't, right now, I don't have to save uh, pins. Yeah? So I'm going to use those things. I'm plugging in, in that order, like that. All right. So I have now connected those things. Hmm. Not sure what it will happen. Not sure what will happen. Ah. Uh, well, let's now plug this into our computer. Bim bidi bim. Let's use the library I found or supplied with the with the CNC shield with this driver. Is it getting hot? No. Also good sign. Yeah. And see if this is doing something, if there are some examples. Alright, so switch to the computer. Okay, so I have already installed the a library. It's called Stepper Driver Master. Yeah. I have this was part of the package of this of this CNC shield here. So I installed it yeah, and I will try to use it now. And there must be some sort of, of example stepper driver, basic stepper driver. I will simply open this. Whew, okay. Direction. Aha. Okay, direction 8, step 9. Is this correct? Direction was white. White is at 8, yes, step 9. Okay, micro steps 1, okay, should, I'm not sure. Bah, just download it. Okay. Aha, uh -huh. power. Uh. It's moving. It's moving. Can you see? Yeah, you see it's moving, but you cannot see pretty good. Let's see. This was not a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I use a different thing. Turn it off again. Yeah. See if I can find something which I can firmly clamp, <laughs> clamp there. Yeah. And not just wait until it's... Ah, here my pointer. I'll use this. Let's see. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, okay. It's not, it's also not clamped firm. But at least we see it's move. <laughs> Yeah, it's moving. Get it off. Yeah. But I heard some noise. Did you also hear this noise? How can I? Yeah, there's some noise. I hope 
if I'm using this as a resonance, huh? Here, you hear this? Yes. I wonder what that is. Yeah. In standstill, there is a noise. I don't bother right now. It seems to be pretty powerful. Should <laughs> be pretty powerful? I have now to find a way how to show you. Maybe I use some some sort of of tape. Yeah. Is this, is this getting hot? No. No, not at all. Okay, it's moving. It's moving. I will find some, some sort of tape, tape this around so that we can see how it is moving a little bit better. All right. Okay, I found a zip tie. Uh, so I used simply a zip tie. Now you see it's moving and let's have a look at the program. And I'm not sure if that fits what I'm seeing here because it's going pretty fast. It's going pretty fast. Uh, let's see. Uh, because here it's actually it's written uh, rotate 360 should 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 rotate a full a full angle yeah full and then it's move minus motor steps micro steps and I according this 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 here the motor steps and so this is correct should be correct there's written 200 steps 120 rpm should be correct. I will simply add here a line and say, because I think it's simply going too fast, we wait here or delay, delay is the correct, for one second. Let's see what is going on if I upload this now. Aha, uh -huh. now we can see it, it really looks like we make a full a full movement. Okay, so this seems to work. Uh, let's see if we can go faster. Uh, so I will simply change this RPM to 240. Let's see what is happening then. Upload. Ooh, it's moving. It's it's working. <laughs> okay, 480, double, 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 double. See what's it now? Ooh. Now we are fast. This, this is a typical behavior of a stepper motor. If we are too fast, then it's not moving at all. So 400 is too much, 400, uh, 480 is too much, 400. Four hundred is working. Good, good. So we can control this thing. Is this getting hot? No. At least I think. And now I'm interested in what happens. It's also written you should not unplug this during operation. Yeah, so I will turn off now the, the motor power supply and I will now turn the coils and let's see what is happening to our to our motor, to, to our setup. What is the result of this? It's working. Does it go the other way around? So now, first one is in this direction, and second one... So first one is counterclockwise, afterwards it's clockwise. If I turn this back... It 
is it then simply shifting shifting direction or what or what or how or how or what now first one clockwise now counterclockwise yes it's just shifting direction so you should not be afraid to to plug it the other way around all right so this seems to work this seems to work pretty well so we can control now our motor we can position our motor how we like and this with this only with this stepper control and here it's just it's just the same yeah, it's just the same here are uh, his place for for more for more of those controllers yeah? there are even these these capacitors inside so now we know why they are here to prevent the peaks and what are they probably 100 micros and then all those wiring is done here yeah? all those wiring we have done here is simply done here inside now we understand how this motor driver is working yeah? this motor driver by the way it is called A9888 yeah? I'll try another, another example try another example see if Examples. Uh, where is it? Stepper driver. Micro stepping. Let's see what is this. Step eight enable thirteen. Uh huh. No, this is wrong. This is just wrong. This is not my driver. It's pretty well ex compared. So we will use this one. Yes. And now what we have? Step begins. Delay. Micro step. Set micro step. Okay. Rotate. Boom. Upload. Let's see what is happening. Uh huh. Uh huh. Again, pretty fast. It should always move. It should move again one revolution. Okay, I will also add some delays here. Yeah. Seems like it's working. Uh, seems like it's working, but uh, so delay with micro step one, delay one thousand. Uh, then we will delay two thousand, uh, and then here we again delay one thousand, and then we will delay five thousand. This is okay. Uh, so we should see now better this moving. We'll delay here also in between here, yeah. but only half a second. I want to see what's happening. Maybe you have already seen it. I am maybe too old for this. Okay, one. Okay, this is not micro stepping. This is with micro stepping. So that this is working and it's making exactly one revolution. Yeah? Okay. 
Okay. Okay. So maybe we will, I will try to micro step. Yeah. I will try to write a program about micro stepping. This is what we're going to do next time. And now I, this, I want to understand this a little bit better with this micro stepping. This we're going to do next time. Huh? Next time in this series, micro stepping and see how this is working. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.